Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about electric potential due to a charged spherical shell. Okay, so I am going to consider as a spherical shell. This is a spherical shell. What do you mean by spherical shell? Spherical shell means like a shell. So we can consider as a egg shell. Okay, if the yolk is to be inside part of that egg is to be removed, what is there? Uh, the structure I am not saying about the sphere like uh, we can consider as a what tennis ball okay we can consider as a tennis ball like that okay so here what will be there the post the charger it is a charged sphere okay so I am assuming the positive charges are distributed all over the sphere okay the amount of charge in the sphere is capital Q and the radius of the sphere is capital R okay radius of the sphere is capital r okay so we need to find out what is the electric potential due to this spherical shell okay so there are three cases we have to consider no sorry it can be reduced by two cases also okay so in the first case what we have to consider electric potential due to a spherical shell if the point is in the case one what i am going to consider case one case 1 what is the distance r is greater than capital r that means the point is outside the shell this is a point p this point p is from r distant from the center of the shell this r distant is greater than capital r okay so what is the electric potential at this point we need to find it okay so we already know what is the electric field at this point p point electric field at this p point we already studied in the first chapter electric field at a at a point p outside the spherical shell is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by r square what is that r small letter r square clear okay that time this charge is act like a point charge this is act like a point charge okay so then at this point we need to find out electric potential this spherical shell is producing the electric field at this point so electric potential at this point is what it is the amount of work done to bring a unit positive charge from infinity to this point okay if i will be considered as my point of infinity is here i will consider from this infinity i have to bring a unit positive charge okay that means i will have to bring a one coulomb of charge okay okay so uh, for that how much work I have to done okay so we already studied we already know a formula electric potential is equal to P is equal to minus integration of infinity to what P point okay how much E dr actually it is E dot dr electric field and distance are displacement are in the opposite direction so we put a minus sign also okay clear okay what is this electric field we are to be bringing in this electric field so we will substitute the electric field value so what you will get minus of integration infinity to p point is what in the p is how much distance from this so r i am going to be what is the e value e is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by r square dr okay clear okay q divided by r square dr so here what is constant this q here q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught is a constant the minus is outside so what is the integration inside infinity to r 1 by r square dr okay the remaining time is to be constant so this we can write like this how we can write like here we can write like this minus of q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught integration of infinity to r this is r power minus 2 dr okay then what is the integration formula for integration of x power n dx integration of x power n dx is equal to x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 here instead of n what is there 
r power minus 2. Okay. So, r power minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 1 minus 2 plus 1. So, what you will get? q divided by minus q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught. What you will get? r power minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1. Lower limit is infinity and the upper limit is r. So, what you will get? Sorry. Minus q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught minus 1 by r r to infinity. This minus minus become positive. So, q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught. So, first you have to apply the upper limit. What is upper limit? 1 by r minus lower limit 1 by infinity. What is 1 by infinity? It is equal to 0. So, what you will get? 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by r. This is the electric potential at the point P. What is the case? If the distance r, if the distance r is to be greater than capital R. Okay. Clear? Okay. So, if the, in this case, you see it, if the distance will be decreases, 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 so what will happen to electric potential? Electric potential value is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by r. If the point is closer, closer to the spherical shell, that means what will happen to electric potential? The electric potential is inversely proportional to distance. So, while coming closer and closer, the electric potential value will be increases and it is maximum at the surface okay so i will be considered if the point is p is on the surface here you can take it as the case 2 in the case 2 what you will get r is equal to capital r r is equal to capital r what you will get in the same in this equation instead of smaller i am going to substitute so vp is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught capital Q divided by R. This is the electric potential electric potential due to a spherical shell if the point is over the surface. Clear? Okay. Then next we will going to see about next one more case is that that is L, if, the dis, if the point is inside the electric potential inside the spherical shell. That means a point is to be inside the spherical shell. So the case 3 this is the case three. So, this is the spherical shell. Okay. In this spherical shell, the charges are, positive charges are distributed here. Like this. Total charge is capital Q. The radius of this spherical shell is how much? The radius of this spherical shell is, sorry, R, capital R. Okay. So, what I am going to consider, I, am con I consider as a point, P is here. That is how much distance from it? R distance. Okay. That is the R distance from it. So we need to find out what is the electric potential at here. Okay. So we already studied electric potential at uh, this point is what? At the surface is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q divided by capital R. So you see that of electric potential at a point is the amount of work done to bring a charge from infinity to infinity to this point. After this, after the surface, is there an electric field is there? No, the electric field inside the spherical shell is zero. So, is there any extra work you have to do here for bringing the charge from here to here? There is no need to do an extra work. So, what you can see that electric potential at the point P, if the R is less than R also, what is the work you have to do? What, how much is the work is necessary for to bring a charge on the surface? The same work only we have to do because there is no, no electric field is inside it. So, what you will get electric potential? is equal to what you will get electric potential Vp is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught capital Q divided by R. This is the electric potential at a point inside it. Okay. Otherwise you can derive it. Okay. So you can derive it. I am going to consider as a point here. 
S is over the surface. Okay. We already know electric potential difference between two point is what? Minus of integration of what you will get? S to P. What you will get? E D R. What is the electric field in? It is to be just to be here. So the electric field in this region is zero. This what is the electric potential difference? Final point. What is electric potential at P minus electric potential at S? Okay. What about this value? This is equal to zero. So electric potential at P is equal to electric potential potential D. Yes. What is S? S is a point over the surface. So what will be there? Electric potential is to be same. Clear? Okay. So the electric potential a point inside the spherical shell is one by four pi epsilon zero q by r. Okay. Then any point this value will be. This value will be same because electric field inside is to be zero. So what we know, okay. So we know electric field E is equal to minus dV divided by dr. Okay, that means if E is equal to zero, what about V? V is equal to constant. So electric field inside the shell. Is to be a constant value. That constant value is one by four pi epsilon zero capital Q divided by capital R. Okay. Now we have to go to going to do the graph. What is the graph? Okay. So electric potential due to a spherical shell. I am going to write like this. This is the thing. One by four pi epsilon naught Q divided by R. When r is greater than r, one by four pi epsilon naught q divided by capital R when r is less than or equal to r. Okay, that means up to this. Okay, so I am going to draw the graph. So what is the graph? This is a graph. Okay, this is a graph I was to be going to take. In the x-axis, I am going to take the distance r. Here I am going to take electric potential. Okay, so what you will get? Zero. Zero means the point is inside the spherical shell. If you want to be getting clear about this, you can draw a spherical shell here. So you can see that this point is at the center. Center is at the origin. Clear? Up to this distance, what is that? This is the capital R. Okay. So you can see this. It will be draw like this. Okay. So you can see this electric potential. This is the r distance. Up to this electric potential is constant. This is the electric potential. Okay. So v is what you will get one by four pi epsilon zero capital Q divided by r. Again, what happen? It will be one by four pi epsilon zero Q by R. So that is inversely proportional to distance. So we'll draw the graph is like this. Okay. So here what the V is inversely proportional to R. So this is the graph of the electric potential of the electric potential due to a spherical shell, and this is the potential value. Okay. Okay. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe my channel. If you like this video, please put. Like.